Okay, let's. Uh, the great master of the 18th century Venetian art was Jacopo Robusti, or later known as, <clears throat> better known as Tintoretto. Uh, his style may be defined as a combination of Titian in reference to the color and Michelangelo, the power of his figures and the drama of the composition. Again, uh, we'll look back at how um, lots of figures here going very back, uh, dramatically back in space. Also, looking at the dramatic use of light, um, we noticed that. Um, Titian had a very a naturalistic use of light as if uh, we were looking at what light might have actually been represented by, in that space. Whereas we see this kind of going back to that, what the artist would anticipate the light to look like. Um, we also see sort of a very dramatic use of light from darks to light, uh, not the soft transition we saw represented by Titian. Uh, the dramatic power of the characteristic, uh, the dramatic power and color so characteristic of Turin's work is also consistent in his work. The drama of his composition is clearly established in the crowded scene, intense foreshadowing, uh, excuse me, foreshortening, strong contest of light and shade, deep, rich colors, and the Venetian sky. Um, we're looking at, the, you know, uh, they're talking about this chiaroscuro or that glowing. When we talk about the chiaroscuro, we're talking about that transition of the light and dark that depicts that three dimensionality or that change from shape to form um, that we saw uh, being a progressive part of the, the early parts of the Renaissance, even late, really, in Hellenistic, that understanding of that uh, change in light. Yeah, this is something that was really going to be um, developed in the Renaissance. The Dutch masters really made great use of uh, this, this effect of chiaroscuro. Um, and we're also they're going to talk about how it compares uh, very differently to uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Last Supper, where we saw everyone is uh, spread out, um, you know, uh, symmetrically, Christ in the middle, uh, apostles split evenly on each side, essentially, uh, with uh, that that very um, symmetrical and uh, centered use of the uh, of the. Uh, a vanishing point creating that space an illusion of depth here we see that vanishing point is way off to the right creating this vertical di or this diagonal that creates uh, from the bottom left to the upper right hand corner similar to sort of the composition we saw titian use um and but um we're thinking how differently all that is is compared to that uh that earlier that earlier renaissance uh work here we're getting kind of um, into that uh, later 16th century we're in venice things are getting different things are getting crazy and this is how it's happening Veronese, the other giant in the later 16th century painting, was Paolo uh, Cal Cagliari, called Veronese. He was known for his use of color and recognized by the use of classical architecture as a setting. Uh, a great open loggia depicts Christ at the center of a royal pageant, uh, complete with a chief steward who welcomes the guests, uh, middle and left clowns, dwarfs, and dogs, unlike Tarantino's. Uh, Veronese's crowds compositions are controlled in order, characteristic of the period and the artist's use of color, second only to Titian in range and depth, and the ubiquitous Venetian sky. Again, Venetian sky, Venetian sky, Venetian sky. Uh, honestly, I like Titian's use of color a little better, even, uh, but we do see broad range of color, big use of, um, uh, uh, not just bold use of color, but uh, bold use uh, or, or uh, a variety of tones and tints uh, within and shades and tints within those colors. Uh, his work is originally named The Last Supper. This change occurred in the Counter Reformation Office of the Holy Inquisition, rejected the portrayal of Christ in such a setting. Instead of changing the piece he was, uh, as he was directed, Verney simply changed the name and the same, uh, at the same time answered his critics. So, um, and again, think about how this Last Supper is so much different than the others we saw as well. One last slide before we put you off to doing your assignment for the week. Uh, the most famous Venetian architect of the era was Andrea de Pietro, known as Palladio. Palladio, excuse me. The artist was also a scholar and author in the treaties. Um, architecture influenced Western building for generations. The Villa Rotunda, just outside of Venice, was a structure commissioned by a retiring church official for the sole purpose of entertaining guests. The design was based on the central plan with four identical facades. The villa rested atop a hill and four facades were constructed in order to capture every possible view of the countryside. Facades resemble a Roman temple front, illustrating Palato's knowledge and affinity for classical Roman design. Uh, and again, um, you know, we see the influence of, uh, it's not about Roman, but obviously this is Greek influence uh, because we see those ionic 
columns. Those started with Greeks. Uh, that, that the pediment at the top. Those are all kind of Greeks. Uh, but we recognize that um, Roman influence. You know, Romans influenced uh, what the Greeks had um, had done, and then pass all those traditions along uh, to modern day. Actually, uh, again, remember that architecture is sort of that uh, element that flows through uh, this entire sort of um, class that hopefully will uh, be the delineating um, uh, thread that ties everything together. Uh, Venetian art flourishes wealthy and powerful families, uh, patronize the arts, architects created elaborate structures, and painters evolved um, illusionistic depth and portrayal of color. <laughs> um, there is the assessment, the 16th century Venetian art assessment. Uh, this one is not as comprehensive as was the last, so hopefully it won't be quite as difficult. Um, and uh, we'll look um, at some changes coming up um, here at the end of class. We'll talk about you know some of the ways things that might uh, change a little different, uh, be a little different going forward. Okay, have a great day, guys. Thank you.